Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who do not know me, my name is Joyce and I am a destination wedding planner. I'm located in the Riviera Maya, Mexico. Today's topic is going to be about what are the best months to get married in the Riviera Maya and why. So stay tuned for some tips for you. So we live here, as you know, the Riviera Maya is also the tropics. So there's a lot of moving parts you need to know about the best months to get married and why you would want to choose those months. So I'm going to do it in a sense that it goes by seasons. I'm not really going to start with January to December, but I'm going to break it down by seasons so you can understand with, with each of those seasons why I'm mentioning uh, those and uh, the benefits of you to have your wedding around those months. So the first portion that I want you to focus on is to understanding exactly the, the months that we call popular. Now, if you want to get married in the Rivera Maya and we're looking at the months of uh, November through, I want to say June. Now I'm going to break it down. Between those months, between November and June. Now, November we've got the fall. We've got the coolest. It's not hot at all. Like, it's just before the winter. But then again, when you're looking at, um, in terms of accommodation, it gets to be not so expensive for your guests to travel around that month. It's not a peak month per se. However, in that particular month, you have a big holiday weekend. If you've got your Easter, you've got your Halloween, which is very big in Mexico, so you want to avoid those two things because in those dates then the flights maybe even the hotels they have like higher rates when it comes to the wedding itself the package does not really change much except if it was like the 31st of December but I'll talk about that in a bit now we're focusing on that November month and you can go through up until December 15 you are safe to have a wedding with good weather, uh, rates not so crazy expensive in terms of accommodation and traveling. The next part that I want you to focus on, you want to avoid um, anything before Christmas, anything around the big holidays like uh, your Christmas and New Year's Eve. So that is why I mentioned to you earlier on that it will be up to December 15. You can have your wedding in January, of course, like let's say January to May, Perfect, beautiful weather. Of course, the winter times like your January or February are great. Again, in February, we do have a big holiday weekend, which is your uh, your Valentine. You want to avoid it, of course. You will see quickly with the flights going up in that weekend because everybody's traveling out, right? To get some, some sun a little bit. And then also um, on accommodation. It doesn't really change much when it comes to the wedding packages. It's perfect when it comes to the weather as well. And then I move along into the March and the April. Now, depending on what happened, what's happening in that year, you want to get married. If there's the spring break, if there is the Easter holidays, you want to avoid these two uh, um, uh, dates around your wedding date. For example, the Easter break, I always say you want to avoid it because it's so crowded. All the kids are out on break. It's just too busy on the beach, really. So if you can avoid it, that would be one of the major reasons why. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the March and April portion. As you know, depending on which one of those two months we would have Easter fall on on that particular year that you're getting married, you want to avoid the Easter holidays. It's a big holiday for the obvious reasons, so flight accommodations are going to be insanely expensive for us, which we consider that as a peak season. At the same time, the Easter break. I know that sometimes because you've got maybe kids coming in uh, that are going to be in your guest, uh, so it's best for them if you take a date when it's the school holidays. But then Easter break can be very crowded on the beaches in, here in the Rivera Maya. So you want to make sure it's something that you are aware of and if it's okay for you, you can totally take those months. Now keeping in mind again around April and March, there's something that is very important for you to be aware of. The weather is grey, then it's our springtime, so this means it can be extremely windy at the beach. So you want to make sure, for instance, in terms of like your hair, your veil, that you go according to what the season is giving you. Now if you wanted to have your hair down, but then it's so windy. It's going to be very, very uncomfortable for you during the ceremony. It's also going to make it harder for your photographers and videos to shoot and find really your face while there's hair like all over. So make sure that you are aware that in those months we, we have a lot of wind. It's the same thing again that you need to be aware of in case you were thinking of higher, taller centerpieces that 
it doesn't really work so much. It's not impossible, but you want to be aware of it because there's a lot of wind and then taller centerpieces and wind don't really go hand in hand. Okay, so now I'm going to explain you to again on the next month that's super popular, May. May is a very, very popular month for getting married in the Rivera Maya. And I'm going to explain a few things. Of course, we also have another holiday weekend in that month that is quite popular, pretty much the first weekend that gets to be booked quite often but then in overall the month is perfect it's not too hot it's not too windy and it's just before like a serious big month of summer so um a lot of people get married in that one if you would ask me at the top of my head what is the best month for me to choose to get married i would say may or november but then again avoiding the holiday weekends if you can it's always a good idea now i'm gonna go back into the june and the july months so these two months you can get married, of course, please be aware that since it's the tropics, since we almost have hot days, it means the, the intensity of the humidity is very high and that can make it very uncomfortable for a lot of the guests. Unless you are aware of it, unless you are okay with it, you can easily take the June or July month with no problem. Most of the times why people or why couples cho choose not to take those two months is simply because they don't like to have the humidity and the heat that much on their guests. Another super important part to add around June and July is the fact that now of course this, since these are summer days you get to have your ceremony a little bit later even though it's a little bit later let's say for example at six o'clock you still have this huge humidity even though the sun is not as strong later on but then it's still so humid so this can also again make it make makes it uncomfortable for your guests especially if you're going to ask them to wear like formal even for you with your wedding dress and the groom with like maybe a tuxedo it is it can get very un uncomfortable it's not impossible especially if you know you are aware of it and you're okay with it you should be okay to get married in those two months now i'm going to tell you about the following months that if it's possible and i mean possible to avoid which is august and september these two months can be extremely hot extremely humid and higher rates of rain these are the only three reasons I say you may want to avoid them. If you're okay with them, you'll get some, sometimes there's even good deals in terms of um, accommodations, maybe even flights in those months. But guys, remember the, the, the intensity of the humidity, of the heat, and of the, um, the rain is high. So in those those will be the two, the three reasons that i would say you want to be aware of in those months these two months of course are months that i know they are not that popular to get married we still do get more people wanting to get married around those months as long as you are aware again guys i'm repeating this if you are aware that the heat the humidity and rain are a higher chance in those months then you should be okay. But either than that, you can avoid it and get a different month. Okay, so now that I just explained to you about, about uh, September and August, I'm gonna tell you a bit about October and November. I always say this to everybody, before all the climate change and everything, we were like, uh, maybe don't have, uh, don't take October and uh, November too, because usually it's like considered hurricane season or hurricane months. But let me tell you this, things have changed and it's very, unpredicted for us to be able to say uh, whether we're gonna have a hurricane or not but we see a lot of people really getting married in those two months so October and November are also starting to be like months that are getting noticed so much especially October because now you still just getting out of the whole um, humidity portion you just heading you are in the fall early fall and it's just calm but then again the time of the ceremonies here guys you have to uh, remember this it's gonna change a little bit because it's gonna get dark a little bit earlier so it's important for you to make sure that you are aware of this like the best times for you to get married in those months again the humidity is not so intense the heat is just lowering down again on this one and the amount of rain it's like small showers in the morning you've got your ceremony maybe small showers at midnight you know again with any tropics 
the range hours are always so unpredictable anyway. I am going to give you now a little bit of a recap of what I was just talking to you about to understand the months that are super important and the months you may want to avoid. So the top two months that are super, super popular is November and May. And then the average other months that you can possibly get married, like your January, February, like in the March, as long as you avoid the Easter weekend um, and the Easter break, you should be okay. Summer months are very hot, but you can also get along with it if you wanted to. The two months that I always say to avoid is always August and September. High on humidity, high on rain, super hot. Those are the two, three reasons that I always say you may want to avoid them. Let me know if you have any question around this topic. Please remember guys, I always share this information with you, all these tips to make you aware while you are considering to get married in the Rivera Maya. Did you like this video? If you did, please like, share and comment. And let me know if you have any other burning questions around this topic and I'll be happy to share it with you.